in the inspiration for Dante's motorcycle weapon in Devil May oh. Cry 5 was born. He beats it out. Oh, he beats man. up a bunch of bats with it. Oh my god. It's, it's, of, it's great. Speaking of beating up a bunch of bats and things that are flying around in the air and hard to hit, we have Clueless Detective versus Maticus with that uh, Hazuma who likes to fling himself all over the place and be impossible to catch. Yeah, but instead of bats, we got snakes. Yeah, snakes. And then we, there got, we, go. we got Ragna who, well... It's Ragnar. Yeah, the the Shoto, the most vanilla character. I, I, he feels like one of the most vanilla characters in the game. Um, no, it's like, the thing is, he should feel vanilla, but there's like there's a lot of back to him that no one has figured out. Yeah, I, I can't remember the last time Clueless Detective was here, but I don't know if he was playing this team. I'm interested to see um, what this looks like. Nice DP call there, just calling out the big buttons. Yep, trades that DP for another DP on Wake Up, because that is the Blaze Blue thing to do, I guess. Ooh, and, uh, wow. EX Grim Reapers, dude. Yeah, just goes in and takes out that Ragnar. Down, down to uh, Hazuma, who, I mean, he's quick, he's evasive, but solo, I don't know how good he is. Uh, he doesn't really have a lot of mix-up potential, so like, but, oh. but... You know, it doesn't matter when you catch both characters with that uh, that super kick, whatever it's called. He has a lot. He has a lot of good combos, and all this stuff has really good hits done. Oh, goes for it anyway, and I don't know if that's death. Oh, oh no, misses, misses it. But okay. DP. Yeah, that could have been a push block, but we'll take the DP anyway. The option select, if you will. We, yeah, I. Okay, that w we, we were just rocking Gordo's theme, and it. Oh, okay, I was talking. No, no, sir. Raito's music is just great. He always gets you into it. They did the they did the music for Melty Blood as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. The soundtrack for uh, for Undernight is pretty good. I've been listening to it like on and off since it's on Spotify for it whatever reason, Spotify. which is crazy. It's, it's great. And oh. EX Grim Reaper mm -hmm. and the extension. Yeah, combos off it, but Clueless able to burst out. Kind of starts his own Ragnar stuff. All right, yeah, just, yep, just basic Gordo things. Just using that 5B, then doing the mix-ups afterwards. Ooh, all right. Oh, good grab. Into Turbulence. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you got the damage since uh, Clueless had full burst meter. Um, I think, okay, I'm, I'm not very sure he... Uh, he was a little quick on that. Ooh, Ooh. wow, that's a great reaction. Is that's, that death? No, no it's not dead. Okay. Just shy of it. Ooh, drops the uh, the combo though. Atticus able to kind of do a turnaround, get his own little corner combo going. Ooh, good burst. Waited for the assist to come out before doing it. Nice ice prison blocking off the upper. The upper. Okay, good white nail. Yeah, Manic is just like going for all these like really safe neutral options that Gulu seems to be like ha having kind of a hard time oh dealing with it, but catches the Gordo and now we're down to just to just the Jin. Yeah, but the thing is we got level four Jin. <laughs> yeah, versus the solo Hazuma again. Ooh. I like the idea, but a little bit too steep of an angle for it to work. Yeah. Alright, what's the extension here? Oh, oh misses! Toga. <laughs> Oh, unfortunate. I guess he's trying to just super into super, but got turned around. Yep, just trying to keep him out. Yeah, Jin has no bars though, but he doesn't need it. He drops it, but that's fine. Picks it right back up. That's 2-0. Well, yeah, Clueless starting to make more of a comeback there in that second game. Able to, uh, when he took out that Gordo with a super, like his, his uses of super is very interesting. He's using it as a, um, just as a raw punish. Yeah. So whenever like um, his opponent the presses about, a button. Think about Hazama's uh uh kick, super kick. Mm -hmm. Um you can continue a combo after that. It's hard, oh, but yes. you can. Yes. Yeah, because you, you, they fly so high up and it's just kinda hard to tell like what the timing is because you can't see your character. But yeah, like even with like the Ragnar, like he was going for like a lot of these supers like to uh that, that's how he used yeah, that's how he killed the Gordo is with that Ragnar super, just waiting for a button to be pressed and just going for it. 
Ooh, yep, forced to burst out. Ooh, all right. Oh, that oh, was we got, yeah. we got autos. <laughs> oh, we got grabs. Oh my god, he was going for it three times in a row. I I don't know if he meant to do ex uh, a dx command grab or if he wanted super, but still worked out for him. Ex command grab is actually a, a pretty decent option, but only in resonance, in my opinion. Yeah, I I don't know. Every time I see a Gordo go go for it, I assume they wanted super, especially if it's like at the end of a combo. Cause, yeah, because it gives you meter or something. But. Yeah, it gives you a little bit of meter because in uh, Undernight it would give it gives you a little bit of a uh, grid. Okay, okay. I, oh, I got you. I see. So it just translates that way. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was a very solid three O sweep from uh, Macus. All right, let me go find out what's happening real quick. Uh, doing a little bit of shuffling, so I will be right back. I'm gonna talk to myself for a bit. <laughs> 